And from here, we go to yet another inner part of our personality, the spirit, which probably opens the door to infinity. That completes the journey in yoga, the body, the mind, and the spirit. And that is why it is integrated, constant integrated awareness. That is true yoga. So while we used our body, and exercised in the earlier part of the session and then we used our breath and worked on the mind finally we use our mind to get a glimpse of our spirit so let's lie down on our back and go into this journey called Shavasana or the cops pose I know you like to call it the relaxation pose but actually we are learning to play dead let's begin Gently stretch out, lie down, feet together, your, your heels together and your toes apart. You don't want to be like this. You want to keep your heels together, your toes apart. Palms either upside down or pointing up to the ceiling. It's your choice, it really doesn't matter. Take a deep breath. As you breathe out, close your eyes. and shift your awareness to the bottom of your feet. Feel your right foot and the left foot. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Flex your ankles. Now gently withdraw the awareness from your feet. Throughout this exercise, we will be shifting our awareness to a particular part of our body, relaxing it, and then withdrawing the awareness to play dead. Shift your awareness to your calves and the shins of both your legs, the right leg and the left leg. Feel the calf muscles resting on the ground. Let the calf muscles relax. Now gently let go of the calves. Let go. As you shift your awareness to the knees, feel your right knee and the left knee. Feel the arch behind your knees. Relax your knees. Gently allow the knees to go dead. Let go of your knees as you shift your awareness to your thighs. The largest group of muscles and perhaps the strongest, your thighs. Relax the upper thighs, the inner thighs, the hamstrings at the back of your thighs. We really work these muscles in this session. Now gently let go of the awareness and let the thighs sink into the floor. Shavasana is the art of surrendering our body. To what? To gravity. Surrender your body to gravity. That is the secret of learning this asana. Shift your awareness to the pelvic region. Feel the large and heavy portion of your body consisting of the hips and the glutes. Allow these muscles to now sink into the ground. Feel the power of gravity gently pulling your body into the ground and don't resist it. Throughout the day, we resist gravity. In Shavasana, you surrender to gravity. The dead do not resist gravity. Shift your awareness to the lower back and become aware of the arch behind your lower back. Gently relax the lower back and shift your awareness to the upper back. Feel the large portion of your back behind your chest resting on the floor. Allow these muscles to go down into the ground. Just don't resist. Shavasana or relaxation is the art of letting go. Don't try to relax, simply let go. Create an awareness and then let go of that awareness. That is all there is to relaxation. From your upper back, let your awareness flow into both your arms, the right arm and the left arm. Feel the biceps, the triceps, the forearms, your palms, fingers, fingertips of both your hands, the right and the left. Feel your fingers. See how alive they are. 
Now gently relax them as you shift your awareness to your stomach. Let your hand go dead. No more life in your fingers. Simply surrender them to the earth. Gently shift your awareness to the stomach. Observe how the muscles of your stomach rise and fall as you breathe in and out. Go within and allow your vital organs to slow down. Your stomach to the left, your liver to the right, your pancreas, your kidneys. Talk to your body. Listen to your body. It is in this inner communication that perfect health and well-being begins to take firm root. Your body listens to you. Gently shift your awareness to your chest. Relax the muscles of the chest. Go within and allow your heart to slow down. Allow your heart to slow down. Your heartbeat slows down, your pulse rate falls, your blood pressure falls, and you slip into yet another deeper state of relaxation. But you are awake and aware of all this happening. You are in the moment, yet you allow your body to slip into oblivion. Shift your awareness to your neck. Relax the muscles of your neck and then slowly but surely let your awareness flow into your face. The most familiar part of your body, your face. Now relax every single muscle in your face. Your chin relaxes, your lips are gently closed, your tongue within is relaxed, your cheeks are relaxed, your eyelids are gently closed, your eyeballs are relaxed, your eyebrows are relaxed. Relax your forehead. The forehead is a seat of all our thoughts, stress and tensions. Relax your forehead. Picture your face to be an embodiment of serenity, of peace, of beauty. Shift your awareness to the top of your head and allow your brain to slow down. Allow all those thought processes that go on non-stop, let them slow down. Allow the electrical impulses and the chemical reactions within your brain to slow down. Simply allow this to happen. No resistance, no trying, just allow it. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, your body is deeply relaxed, almost as if you are dead. Your breath is at a gentle rhythm, barely noticeable. And your mind still with peace, like the stillness of a lake. This is inner harmony, the harmony of your body, breath and mind. And in the stillness of this harmony, feel the presence of your spirit. And enjoy simply being in the silence of that presence for a few seconds. Take a deep breath. As you breathe out, slowly bring life back into your body. Move your fingers, move your toes. Slowly raise your hands above your head, interlock your fingers and stretch. A lazy but intense stretch. Roll to your left side, stretch. To your right side, stretch. Come back, rub the palms of your hand, cover your eyes, gently open them up and get up feeling fresh and relaxed. Thank you my dear friends for this wonderful session of yoga. Namaste. समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवन्तु